the revolutionary new technology called brain fingerprinting that has caught the interest of both the CIA and the FBI. It's the creation of Dr. Larry Farwell, a scientist from Iowa, who says that by analyzing the brain waves of a criminal suspect, he can tell whether or not that individual has committed a crime. Brain fingerprinting, what is it, Dr. Farwell? Brain fingerprinting is a scientific technique for determining whether certain information is stored in the brain or not by measuring brain waves. Farwell says that when the human brain recognizes important information, it triggers a specific electrical signal called a murmur that can be measured and analyzed. A suspect sits in front of a computer wearing a headband equipped with special sensors. Words and pictures flash briefly on the screen. Some of those words and pictures are relevant to the crime, say, for example, the name or the photograph of the victim or a photo of the murder weapon. If he committed the crime, then his brain says, aha. Dr. Farwell's research has been funded by the CIA, which has given him more than a million dollars. And the FBI is also interested in brain fingerprinting. Brain fingerprinting has been applied in a number of actual criminal cases. The first one was the J.B. Grinder case. He was the prime suspect in a murder for 15 years. They never had quite enough evidence to uh, convict him. I conducted a brain fingerprinting test on J.B. Grinder. I found that he clearly had the details of the murder of Julie Helton 15 years ago stored in his brain. At that point in the state of Missouri, he was faced with an almost certain conviction and an almost certain death penalty. So he pled guilty in exchange for life in prison. Republican Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa we're interested in making sure that the innocent go free and that the guilty are punished and any technological instrument that can help us make a determination of guilt or innocence we ought to know about it. you know I was enrolled in college when I was arrested in September you know and to have all of that taken excuse me for me you know just to have all of that taken away from me Harrington has filed several appeals in his case. All have been rejected. So this year, when he heard about brain fingerprinting, he decided to file a new appeal. The brain never lies. If that information is stored in the brain, when that comes up in the screen, he'll recognize it, whether he's an honest person or not, whether he wants to or not. Do you believe that Terry Harrington is innocent? What we've proven scientifically is that the record in Harrington's brain does not match the crime, does match the alibi.